Alrighty, so apparently Lissandra was revealed and she's pretty spicy. So I'm gonna go ahead and check it out. World in ice. A dark cloud looms on the horizon. When I'm s three minute two three. Tough. When I'm summoned, summon a frozen thrall. You've summoned two plus allies that cost eight plus. When I level up, create a watcher in hand. Drac Lawn Inquisitor. When I'm summoned, summon a frozen thrall. Round end. If the countdown of any of your frozen monsters is four or less, advance them to zero. Frozen monsters, eh? Serve you, lady. Ooh. Completely and without question. Secrets hidden by frost. Dude, these level up animations are getting kind of wild. Three mana, three, four. Our round start, create a fleeting zero cost ice shard in hand. Seventeen mana card. What? In tomb, obliterate a unit and summon a frozen tomb in its place. Wait, can't your opponent just like Frost overlap gathers. that? What is happening? I am inevitable. Survive the icy landscape to obliterate your opponent's deck. Oh my goodness. 17 mana, 11, 17. The Watcher. I cost 0 if you've summoned 4 plus allies that cost A plus this game. Attack, obliterate the enemy deck. It's just like a simpler Maokai. Wait, this is better than Maokai. To an extent, they're kind of different, but I feel like in general, general gameplay and deck building strategies, it's a lot simpler to execute. Let's go. Here's the all in one folder. Thank you, Cosmic. Alrighty. So, Lissandra seems cool. I need to see some more of these cards that we couldn't see, though, to get a bit of grip on her. So, 3 mana 2 3, it's a reasonable stat line. It's not too understated. Uh, so she's one of those more ch powerful champions that kind of suffers from a lower stat line because her effects are quite powerful. Uh, so when I'm summoned to create a Frozen Thrall in hand. Frozen Thrall is a landmark. It's a one mana landmark with a countdown eight summon a Frost Guard Thrall, which is the eight mana eight eight with Overwhelm. So you count down eight. Uh, and then we have the Frozen Tomb. I was curious about this card. Countdown, summon an exact copy of the obliterated unit, I replace. So it's, it's, it's kind of, it's really weird. Lissandra's and Tomb is just like a very cheap version, a uh, very cheap version of like hard removal that kind of takes away your opponent's unit for a couple of turns, but then they have a countdown for it to come back. But you could also like remove the frozen tomb, I guess. So there's always that. Uh, the Ice Shard is a 3 mana fast speed spell. Deal 1 to everything. I'm guessing that includes the Nexus. Yeah, so at uh, the round start, Lissandra will create a fleeting zero cost Ice Shard once she is flipped. The Dark Lord Inquisitor. So when I'm summoned, summon a round, summon a frozen thrall. 
And at the round end, if the countdown of any of your frozen thralls is four or less, advance them to zero. I guess that's pretty good. I guess that's really good. Like you have Lissandra on the field, you already get that immediate frozen thrall. A couple of turns later, you can play the Dark Lord Inquisitor. And then if it stays on the field, you'll get continuous value from your frozen thrall. So that's pretty reasonable. Uh, three sisters is a burst speed spell. Create a fleeting flash freeze, fury of the north, or entomb in hand. I think that's a pretty good card. You pay one mana for the flexibility of being able to uh, kind of gain a certain tool for any uh, point in the game. So I guess three sisters will see play for sure. Uh, I'm not sure how, how many copies you might consider running. But any deck that needs combat tricks or already runs Flash Freeze might consider a card like this. Uh, it just really depends on the meta. If it's slow enough, three sisters beats Flash Freeze. And yeah, I can see that being considered. The Blighted Raven is a four mana landmark. When I'm summoned, heal your Nexus four, count down one, deal two to everything. You have to pay four mana for it. It's a four mana heal four. The next turn, it will deal two to everything. Huh. Seems okay. Uh, I don't think that landmark is too crazy. Hmm. Cold resistance is a burst speed spell. Gain an empty mana gem and grant an ally plus two. More ramp for free old. More ramp. Um, I guess it's this versus catalyst. I can't see how often times cold resistance is better than catalyst, but yeah, more ramp options, but I don't think this will see as much play. At least for decks that play catalyst, I don't see it being played as much. Uh, the Watcher, so we already saw that. You can only get the Watcher from uh, Lissandra, so the Watcher is only a card that you'll be able to get from the uh, Lissandra. So how easy is it to... You've only you need to summon 2 plus allies that cost 8 plus. And it doesn't even have to be like... Lissandra doesn't have, to, doesn't have to see you do it. So I guess that's pretty easy to execute. And then playing the Watcher is... Not too long after that. You just need to summon 4 plus 8 cost allies this game. So you play a ramp deck with uh, Lissandra. You play a couple of decent 8 drops. You just have some really good late game threats like in some cases this might kind of be a new form of ramp that kind of overlaps or might even be better than Trindamir, Trundle etc with Atrocity because all you really need to do to execute a pretty strong strategy is kind of just play ACOS units. Seems simple enough and then you have you play Lissandra at some point and then you get the Watcher. You have to attack with the Watcher though. So I guess it's always that. So pardon me, it might not be the best. It might not be as consistent because you have to attack with the Watcher. So there's always that to think about. Because you can play the Watcher and if you, like your opponent has to remove it immediately. Otherwise if it attacks, um, you're pretty much going to lose the game. Because once you obliterate the enemy deck, if they can't put a card into the deck, they draw one, they lose. What's really interesting about Lissandra's flipped effect is that your nexus is tough. Wow. That is very cool. <laughs> A tough nexus. Let's go. That's crazy. Everything will deal one less damage. Some stuff won't even deal damage. That's crazy against aggro decks, right? Stuff that just like goes wider on the board. Oh, so much value. At the round start, you create a zero cost R shot every turn. Deal one to everything. That's crazy anti aggro value. What the heck? Yeah, Lissandra seems very cool, but what do you guys think? Do you think she has potential? I think she really does. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you soon.